We woke up at around 3.30 a.m. and hit the road about an hour later. After meeting up with some local team members, we set out on a 12-hour trip to Ocracoke, North Carolina. So here we are at the ferry, we're heading over to an island. It's going to be about an hour long ferry ride across. Um, I'll confirm the name of the island in a minute. I believe it's uh, Ocracoke Island. Yeah, so there's three ferries here. We're just waiting to get on. Here's the island we're going to. I'm not sure if you can see it all that well. Yeah, this is the Outer Banks. We've been driving all day, sitting in the car, and uh, yeah, we're ready to get on the ferry soon here. Here it is. Very beautiful scenery around here. There's the ferry over there. All the cars just came off, and we're just still waiting to get on. I'm excited to get out on the island. So right here is where we're going to ship out, all the way over to the Outer Banks. And we're going to be working in here. And uh, here's the rest of the island. If you're not familiar with the Outer Banks, we're going to be going from here all the way over to here. Okay, I believe we're getting ready to depart here. Here. It's currently closed. Yeah, pretty awesome. Look at that. here. Sorry about the noise, it's very loud down there. I have no sense of direction right now. And we believe the island is... Yep, right there.
probably wondering how do I take a shower? No, we don't shower for the end of the week. Okay, well, you don't use deodorant, you'll be all right. Walk out in the ocean with a bar of soap. Hey, that'd be good. Down here. We got a shower trailer. Men and women size, two at a time. Right back out here. So you don't have to get, you know, your feet wet or anything. It's all on the deck and housing. Everything's all hooked up. You're ready to go. So we just got a quick tour of the building. I'll give you a shot of the front here in a minute. Bunch of rooms. Really nice place. All right, let's go take a look at the front of the building before it gets too dark. We're in a Masonic temple. We'll see you in the front of the building. A Masonic temple. Pretty cool. It's got a little kitchen eating area, refrigerator, nice little kitchen over there, some bathrooms, and storage areas. More tools over here. So, we'll be heading out tomorrow. Tool trailer. All kinds of stuff. Of tools over here. Very cool. Yeah, so we will be staying here the whole week. Um, I was under the impression that we were going to be moving further down the island, but I guess we changed our game plan. I need some of that for my place. All right, guys, we're in our room. Uh, we've got a guy named Bill over here. He's got this awesome little tactical sack right here. I'm not going to get too personal, but that's Bill over here. He's currently not in the room. Got Kevin over here. And here's my little area. So we're going to work tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the day. Good night. Hey, good morning. So we had breakfast. And now we're making up our lunches, getting ready to head out. I don't have any shorts in the back room. They might down here. Well, Chris Kiefer did that. Good morning. Hey, hey. hey. How's everybody doing? Oh, okay. oh, yeah, it's more than this oh. box. So. <laughs> and I lost the team. Oh, here they are. another project going on. We're just walking down this trail till we find ours. It's the side of that church. cemetery here. Walking along the trail. I'm not going to go in. There's another project going on where they're repairing the bottom of the house here. Raising them up. Yep, raising up the houses carrying the porches and so forth. That way. The sign Can we says go up one this way. way. You're only going one way, but it's one way that way. <laughs> we don't care. Let's go that what? way. We're going to get some paint and tarp and stuff. We'll be right back. All right. All right. Here we are at our project site. Hundred thousand dollars worth of repair. whole thing's been raised up, but there's the start to a new porch. They need to okay. turn up this way, not so the doors. Okay, that's one thing. Just 10 inch board for shelving, okay? Mm -hmm. We want to actually uh, 
um, trim that in once this is done, sanded, and all that. Because this is, as you, as you know, it's going to be a process. Um, and of course, taking all these things down. But that's really what we've got for here. We've got to get the paint on, get this stuff finished in here. So if somebody's, if you've got a team in here that's working on the mudding and putting up the corn bead and, and getting that prepped and ready for paint, that would be awesome. Yes. So you, you want all of us here for right now? For the moment. Okay. Because there's also doors and things that can be taken off, taken under the house. Okay. If you want, because we've got two by fours already set up to where you can actually set those doors down, like the closet doors, and roll them out and paint them. If there's any questions, all you have to do is say, you know what, we're just doing what Benny asked us to do, so you may want to call Benny. And it's all good. That way you guys can keep working, because if not, they want to tell you stories. Y'all know, you've done this before. Okay. Any questions? We're good? All right. And then I'm going to get the other doors in the, at the other location set up so um, our carpenters can actually set some doors and, um, and some trim. Are you going to need, that being said, are you going to need any um, chop saws? Well, I can go. You already got that? Well, yeah. I can get a chop saw. Okay. Some drop cloth down. Doing a little painting here today. Haven't really been keeping you guys updated on my tasks, but I'll be sure and sure to check in when I'm done. Got some wild chickens over here. See if I can get up close to them. Yeah. <laughs> there they go.
Okay, that concludes the first work day, which is day two. I'm going to crash. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to day three. Oh, another day. I noticed because I want to. I want. I want to find one of these. Afraid to pick them up and break them. It's very cool. We're just taking a walk to the site today. Came across this boat full of shells. <laughs> little uh, gift shop here or whatnot. All right, gotta catch up. Breathe everything. Another little store back in there. Joe here is quite the <laughs> photographer too, so nice little beach we town. yeah we get along. Yes. Nice little beach town. <laughs> little coffee shop here might be cool to check out it's the uh, craft shop you might be able to hear pounding in the background we're in this little village is where we passed on our walk the other day yep coming up on our site here the shells here look pretty cool on the fence There, how's that? You can see this through the mess in there already. The boys keep sleeping. Okay, just getting back from day two of work, day three of the trip. Um, let's see, knocked out all kinds of painting today. Did like two rooms, a huge hallway, did a little bit of caulking. Again, I didn't record much because I'm, when I'm there, uh, you know, I just, I'm there to work. And uh, so that's that. We'll have somebody coming in tomorrow to talk about the storm that happened. I believe it was on uh, nine, uh, September 6th of last year, 2019. Uh, so they'll be coming in to talk about that tomorrow at, I believe, 8 o'clock, 8, 8 a.m., excuse me. <clears throat> A little dehydrated. But yeah, let's see, what else? My, my buddy here that I was working with went to a new job today, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're still not sure if there's going to be more work um, after this job. We're trying to get the person back in their house uh, before we leave, but I don't think it's possible. There's a lot of like electrical work that needs to be done. A preacher, as a matter of fact, for a church that we saw on day one on our walk there. So that's pretty interesting. Just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, we're going to be doing some grilling outside on the grill today. So we might get some footage of that. Other than that, yeah, I'm just going to kick back a bit, maybe have a cup of coffee. And hang out. See you soon. We got That's, wrong. Most That's wrong. I said most <sighs> Looks like our chickens are back. See how close we can get. Let's see, there's five of them there. Nope, I'm scaring them off. Should grab one and throw it on the grill. Okay, six. Yeah, I think I think they're here to eat the cat food. Hey, come here. All right, see you later.
caulk in here. Some touch up from yesterday. Yeah, it's kit. What do we have here? Dave, Dave the, 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 is studying. He's trying to get a scripture together. For okay, us. preparing for a service over yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we all get 10 minutes, he gets four days. You know? <laughs> okay. And look at him, he's smiling about it. Yeah. There, there's a mass for you. All right. There's Dave. There's the food. There's the food. 16 burgers and 16 dogs. All right. For 12 people. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. Yeah. There's a chicken. Oh, the chicken's back. He's here for a burger. It's starting. What do you think, John? Huh? Huh? We're all making some cheeseburgers. Hot dogs. They look pretty good. Oh, they will be. Sure. Yeah, four, we'll do four or five with that cheese. All right. Oh. Hamburger and a hot dog, please. Or cheeseburger. All right. Thank you. What do you want? Good yep, one. that looks fine. Sorry, some are a little darker than others. That's fine. Thank you, sir. John did not have the embers. Good morning. Up at about 5.45 a.m. today, uh, the men got up to prepare breakfast. We're having bacon and eggs. I did not sleep well last night. Uh, probably got about four and a half hours of sleep but yeah so we've been up making breakfast and just having a coffee we're waiting for the next guy up in the organization to come and tell us a little bit more about the storm and how the communities sort of handled the situation over the past year so that'll be interesting we just served the ladies breakfast and just came out to see sunrise it's nice and pink skies Right before the storm, I the storm happened early in the morning, and I actually woke up from a dream that morning. Uh, I had a really awful nightmare where I looked out my bedroom window on the first floor, and I could see water by our fence. And uh, you know how in the mornings there's like condensation on the outside of the window sometimes, and I didn't think that was right, so I stood up in my dream walked around the wall to my living room and looked out uh, to see a river of water going down back road. So I yelled for Will to get up. <laughs> and in my dream, the house was starting to lift and tilt off of its foundation. My house, as well as a lot of the older homes here, most of the older homes aren't tied to the foundation. Uh, Philip Howard's house, is not tied to the foundation, but he has chains that come down and sit into cement blocks to hold the house hmm. in case of flood. So in my dream, the house lifted, it shifted off its foundation, and I was yelling for Will to lift our storm hatch. Um, in my house, there is a hatch about this big that's still there, and it has a handle, and it's in the pantry. Uh, there were other places on my floor that had hatches at one point, uh, there are holes that have been drilled into my floor that had corks in them when I moved in. And the purpose of that is to open the hatch, pull the corks, and the water will come into the house and hold the house down. So that was my dream. And I went and I woke up, Will, and I said, I just had this awful dream. And he said, it's okay. We looked out. It was dry. It was dry. I said, should I make coffee? He said, no, just go back to bed. Uh, I will never not make coffee ever again because <laughs> we couldn't make coffee for three days and we really needed it that day. <laughs> um, so I, I went back to bed and I was talking to my dad and I looked out my window 
and there was water. And I stood up and I walked around to the living room and there was three feet of water rushing down back road. This is about 15 minutes later. So now I'm heading next door to see a house that was repaired by this organization right next door to the Masonic Temple. We're gonna go have a look inside. Some supplies left over here, I see. Another LED light that went up there. I just don't know where that is. All right. First, we'll get that for you. There's enough of it, looks like. All right. So, our team is currently on two jobs. Um, and I might be starting the third, just putting sand underneath the house to prevent mold. So I'm just grabbing my work gloves. Touching up on some paint here. Coming back from lunch, I noticed this tree growing out of another tree. So that's pretty cool. See if I can get you up in there. Gecko. Gecko, yeah. They move like lightning. Oh, wow. They are they're faster than yeah, you see it. Well I show you some quad some of the shorts. I just want to some lunch. And I can't all of a see the picture right. to tell if I'm doing. The uh, boys over in the other project are done. They're Look at the spine. up work day three we're gonna go to the beach get something to eat a crab look at this place look at that sun setting there aren't any shells heading to a different spot This beach is supposed to be the second best place for seashells in the United States. So we're just hanging out, looking for shells, enjoying the sunset. We're at a new spot now. And there's the girls getting hammered. <laughs> and there's uh, Kevin out there. Kristen, girls, man those waves are way bigger than yesterday, tons of seashells all over out here, it's not as windy so that's cool.
moon up there. Day four, day five of the trip. Just making my way off to the site. Just had a nice breakfast. So yeah, let's get at it. Just priming up some shelving here for the house. Actually, this is for this house, and these are for another project going on. Did some priming of the walls inside and then I just flipped these and they need another coat and then now I'm going to start on a laundry room so we'll check in then. Just finished up work day four. Those white slats you saw are actually shelves. And uh, I painted both sides, then started the double coat. Oh, there's a cat. Hey, kitty. And tomorrow I'll flip them, paint the other side. We brought them inside so that they don't get stolen. What else did I do? Started on a closet, primed parts of the bathroom, painted it, and a couple other little tasks. So yeah, tomorrow's the last work day. We're going to knock everything out tomorrow and go from there. Who knows, maybe another project or two will catch up. <laughs> 
there were six of them out there when we left last night, yesterday, last evening. kinds of cool crafty type of fencing around here. Right here we are for the final work day. We'll start out by getting one more final coat on the other side of these shelves. I gotta get this down the steps. Wait a minute, what's going on? We're losing control here. What's happening? You all, back up three steps in the very rear. Back up three steps. Right there, now you stay there. You all come down. We have to social distance in a picture. Come down. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I understand. Y'all are good. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. Nobody can see what you're saying. Just finishing off the second coat on the door here. Heading back over for a bathroom break and I saw this cool looking flower here. Can't say I've ever seen a flower like that. The Craftsman Center here. It's pretty cool. We're going to be heading out to a restaurant this evening, so not sure if I'll get much footage of that, but if I do, if I can, I'll bring you on board. Super nice day today. It's got to be like 80 degrees right now. It's probably around 10, 1030. But I imagine back home it's much colder. But yeah, just heading back to the building to use the bathroom. You can rent these little carts here and drive right on the roads with them. It's awesome. In most places, the speed limit's like 20 miles an hour. You can also rent pedal bikes. It's pretty cool. And it's like 80 degrees right now. Pretty much wrapped up most of the work for the day, but um, I'm heading back to the site right now to see what's going on. Just probably touch up on loose ends. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I think there's one more team coming in after us. 
and then I believe we're shutting down here. I, there are other organizations, but uh, I believe that this particular organization has run out of funds and is shutting down. So one more team and that's it. And then I believe they're gonna use independent contractors for the rest of the build and you know people pay are gonna be paying a lot of money I hear just the lift alone is like 30 grand so that's that we'll catch up with you in a bit We got uh, door knobs and a lock on the front door. We got the ceiling door put in and everything set up and working nice. Uh, they put the door handle in this closet and we installed this door and leveled it out and everything and it, it all works nice. So we gave them a little boost. We only spent, like I said, you know, maybe three hours. So yeah, we helped them out and that's cool. Um, currently, this is the residence of the oldest lady in this community on this part of the island. So that's pretty cool. So in Eric Oak, North Carolina. So now we're off to dinner. What's going on? Come here. Come here. Come here. 
barnyard. Next thing we'll have goats. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Well, I'm going to get this. Gary Hamrick yeah, off. Yeah, I can't right get him off to take a picture. Well, 6.30 a.m. 6.30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, This gift shop here. Pretty cool. All kinds of stuff. This place has gotten upstairs. Second floor. Different shelves. And I found one sort of like this. A small broken one. Catching fish and cleaning them. Like, we're gonna have us some lunch tonight. We're gonna have us some lunch today. <laughs> this is cool. Just trying to find a low wind. 